in that case you need to trigger a notification to the user that whatever threshold limit upper limit and lower limit that you have actually set the stock has technically crossed that whatever design i am comfortable with he said that uh, we can go forward with that but there might be a chance that if you get the same question you might be asked to like just choose one of them it can be interview dependent as well i don't want to be in a situation where i start with the solution i start with the design and then later eventually i realize that okay uh, there was a requirement that i didn't ask and the whole design that i have done is kind of like a waste this was kind of like an event streaming kind of like a problem where we have a lot of incoming uh, data and we have to stream it and store it and then process it uh, at some extent in both of the interviews i had the same question so it was kind of like i like i was kind of like a bit lucky that i got the same problem statement again hello everyone i'm sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys uh, i guess a couple of uh, years back uh, i uploaded a video on the channel where i talked about my bloomberg interview experience and i was just going through all of my videos and i realized that i never uh, had a detailed discussion around the system design round that i had for bloomberg now bloomberg is like uh, generally known for keeping a high level design round even for the fresh grad roles as well right and that can become a bit more intimidating for a lot of people because a lot of uh, fresh grads do not prepare a lot on the system design aspect right i'm not saying that system design is like a must for all the fresh grads it's just that you first of all need to know all the developer uh, really, uh, like development related perspectives and if you have time it's not a bad thing to technically explore it right so in this particular video i'm going to talk about what was my system design question right i was like it's been two or two two and a half more or maybe more than that since i uploaded that video so but i was uh, fortunately able to get the same problem statement on the lead code discussion se discussion section so i will be able to give you the exact correct information altogether so without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel what are you doing go ahead and do subscribe to the channel we are going to put some really awesome content up ahead on this channel so let's just start so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so what was the problem statement so the problem statement was pretty straightforward okay so if you have ever used applications like zerodha or grow this feature is available there as well so what's the feature so any uh, stock uh, market application like grow or zerodha if you open that you will be able to get the list of a lot of stocks let's say uh, stocks of tcs infosys right some tata related stocks all of these company stocks are technically available right similar to this you have uh applications where you can also go for us market stocks and everything right now assume that you are working on an application which is a stock a stock broking application and there are a lot of list of stocks now what feature you want to implement for your users is that so the feature goes like this 
a user should be able to come to the platform, select a particular stock and then decide an upper limit and a lower limit of a price. Okay. So for example, let's say it's the Google class C stocks. Okay. So what the user should be able to do, the user should be able to come open the Google class C stocks and then define an upper limit of the stock. For example, let's say $300 and a lower limit for the stock, let's say $80, right? And whenever at any point of time, the stock goes beyond $300, that was the upper limit or below $80, that was the lower limit. In that case, you need to trigger a notification to the user that whatever threshold limit, upper limit and lower limit that you have actually set, the stock has technically crossed that. Okay. And you should be able to do it for like a user should be able to do it for like every corresponding stock. Apart from that, the user should be able to put multiple upper limit and multiple lower limit notifications as well. Like it's not just that, let's say for Google class C stocks, you can have just one upper limit set and one lower limit set. You can maybe have $200 and $300, two upper limits. So, so what will happen is if the Google class C stock will go beyond $200, then also you will get a notification. And it, if it will go beyond $300, then also you'll get a notification altogether. Okay. So for the user should be able to make notification for like all of the stocks and for one stock also, there can be multiple upper and multiple lower limits that the user can technically set. This was the problem statement that was given to me. Okay. Apart from that, there was one piece of information that was given that you can assume a black box stock market API, right? Which we are going to technically hit uh, and like they are, like my interviewer gave me like an open suggestion that if we want we can also hit the api altogether or we can even have a subscription model where the api is going to get give us a lot of uh, i would say request like they are going to hit our servers whatever design i am comfortable with he said that uh, we can go forward with that but there might be a chance that if you get the same question you might be uh, asked to like just choose one of them it can be interview dependent as well okay so this was the overall problem statement that i actually got now in order to approach the problem i just made sure that i follow a simple framework that is first of all get the clarifications done within the first five seven minutes because we i don't want to be in a situation where i start with a solution i start with the design and then later eventually i realize that okay uh, there was a requirement that i didn't ask and the whole design that i have done is kind of like a waste so i made sure that i asked about all the requirements that okay what what is the number of users that we are looking at because for all that users we might have to make some registration entry in the databases right so we might need some storage space available as well what are the total number of stocks available right what is the qps of the incoming request from the stock market black box api right that we are looking at that maybe how much how much with how much qps they are going to hit our system because i chose for that implementation that let's assume that they are going to directly hit our systems to give the overall set of um, i would say stock ticks Right, so we call this as a stock tick. Okay, so I asked more clarification question that, okay, what is more important for us? Like, like let's say if the, the stock price goes beyond a particular limit that the user has decided, then what is the delay time that we are expecting in the notification? Like, do we expect the notification to go within a few milliseconds or maybe in a couple of seconds we can go for, right? And so on. Apart from that, I asked a couple of uh, non-functional requirements as well that, okay, do we expect the system to be highly available? So that was the scenario that like they specifically initially only mentioned to me that the system is expected to be like extremely highly available. We need to design it in a way that maybe 24 seven, the system should be available because we don't want our users to lose money if they want to like trade or do something, right? So I, first of all, like discussed all the non-functional uh, and functional requirements. And then I started to, first of all, put the basic uh, set of things in place, right? That, okay, um, what are the basic set of microservices that I'm looking at? Well, I went for a microservice architecture because I felt like there were some moving pieces which were like totally not related to each other. For example, there can be a separate notification service. There can be a separate registration service. I didn't want to club both of them in a monolith because maybe the notification service needs separate uh, level of scaling and the registration service need the, I would say the notification registration service needs a separate level of scaling. So I kept with the uh, event with the microservice architecture. I also discussed around what can be the database uh, choices we had. I talked about the trade-offs that, okay, what are the available options? what I'm looking at and what are the trade-offs if we choose a different database. And apart from that, this was kind of like an event streaming, kind of like a problem where we have a lot of incoming uh, data and we have to stream it and store it and then process it uh, at some extent, right? So like Kafka looked like a good solution for that. 
so what can be the element what uh, so they also asked me that what what will be the kind of kafka topic that you would like to have uh, are, am, am i looking at some partitioning that i would like to do at kafka he also like uh, started asking me that whether i have worked with kafka or not so when i was interviewing with bloomberg i was working with linkedin and there i had some interaction with kafka so i like talked about that as well so overall this was the particular set of approach that i first of all discussed the basic requirements then i started with the basic workable design and post that i started going deeper into individual aspects that okay what can be some corner cases how we can improve on the availability right so generally i take this approach that i go to the deeper dives later so that at least i have a basic framework uh, with like some consensus consensus from the interviewer that okay this more or less is looking fine and then i go deeper in uh, how we can improve the system altogether right i also talked about a couple of aws services which we can technically use in order to make uh, in order to implement the similar kind of an architecture right and uh, apart from that i made sure that i limit the number of functional requirements because i don't want to be in a situation that in a one hour interview where probably 10 minutes go in intros and outros so i, I have what like 50 minutes so in 50 minutes i don't want to be in a situation that i i'm not able to implement the final solution altogether right so this was something that i actually uh, approached with and uh, i believe this is a fair approach if you want to approach or like go for any system design interview because this gives you a segregated thing that okay this is the first thing that you should do this is the second thing that you should do and so on i have already made a video on my channel where i talked about like how you should approach a system design interview do go forward and check out that right i'll also link down the lead code discussion uh, for this particular problem statement in the comment section below you can check out and you can also read some other people's solution and their approaches see in system design there is like nothing right or wrong right it's just that you don't need to be like way off of the expectation right you need to have some basic understanding of how exactly these kind of system work i believe there are like some category of systems that you can have as i also talked about in that system design interview that maybe the system will be more focusing on let's say some event streaming or the system will be more focusing on uh for example location services and so on so there will be one very core aspect of the system that you might need to take a deeper dive into apart from that like a certain set of basic bare minimum things will be something that will be common altogether so this is how i approach the problem i hope you guys understood what can be an expectation right from freshers they do not expect like uh like crazy high like crazy system design but they definitely like at least at bloomberg they definitely expect that you should be able to design like a basic workable system it should be like like not in a situation where the system will definitely crash or will definitely not follow the given set of requirements and they also expect you to think out loud like think what uh, like tell the suggestions that you are thinking about tell the trade offs like you should be in a situation where you are able to understand the trade offs if you don't understand the trade off then probably you don't understand the system well so this is something that they were actually looking at uh, interestingly i interviewed for bloomberg twice and first i was rejected so, uh, later i was selected one uh, interesting fact in both of the interviews i had the same question so it was kind of like i like i was kind of like a bit lucky that i got the same problem statement again right but it there might be a case that you get a different one so you can keep that thing in mind that being so this was the whole discussion that i wanted to have with you guys let me know if you guys have any suggestions or how you would have approached the system altogether drop down your thoughts in the comment section below that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on some really more exciting uh, tech case studies and maybe some more design interviews altogether till then take care guys bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off